Hi guys, it's the Arcana Angel, and I'm coming once again. Uh, I'm on Mount Shasta in far northern California. It's been awesome. I um I really uh can't complain at all. Like it's so beautiful up here, it's making me wanna um change my change my life. But um, I'm doing a quick energy uh, read today. This is for Capricorn. How you doing, Cappies? Uh, or high Cappers, should I say. Um, it's not a full read. It's just an energy read. One card, a chakra card. A little guidance to see what we should focus on today. I'm asking Spirit to please just give me one card. Because I want to be honest with my um, viewers. The lovers. Really, Cappies? That's how you feel? Okay, God. What are we desiring for ourselves, Cappy? That is major arcana, too. I mean, the, the, baby, I'm going to have to come back and do some uh, reads. So we can get a little bit, break it down a little bit later. But um, right now, it's calling. Uh, I told you, what do we desire? Yeah, we wonder if we have learned of real love or only dreamed of it. Or it doesn't even matter. Um, coming into clarity and knowing um this message sends us to a message to create the world, the union, the partnership, the pain and pleasure that you see. <laughs> I keep telling everybody so far, this full moon energy last night was totally about change. Like, that, if you look it up, Google it, whatever you need to do. But it's about making changes in our lives. This card is saying, what this card is saying, yes, there's going to be a change. And, but what do you want to create? What is going to be your ultimate fulfillment, desire? Like, what do you lust after almost? You know? It, it, what are you lusting after? <laughs> it says that you no longer have visible roots, but instead a clean slate a new beginning it's time to start your journey but towards your true love and your true love don't have to be romantic your true love could be cooking your true love could be music your true love could be taking care of children take care of old people your true love could be taking care of yourself now put that uh on the burner and turn the heat up cappies you might need to tune in to your your own self, pleasing yourself. You done pleased everybody else. Because in this picture, that looked like pure pleasure to me. But you standing there looking at the pictures like you desiring for yourself. So, let's get a moon card, Capricorn. It's just a little short uh, look at the messages. Spirit got so much to tell. I might have to... Um, do a full reading for y'all later on. Just kind of break some of this down. Get an understanding of what it really means for you. Ooh, the blue moon. Unexpected. And that's a full moon, too. The blue moon is a full moon. Something might have been created during the last uh, blue moon that's coming into fruition now that you're thinking about. You see the blue in her um, garment? You might be thinking about something that happened. And look at those are two <laughs> baby, those are two intimate people. Like you have to be intimate to stand there half dressed and touch somebody. Whether it's sexual or emotional, it's still intimacy. Let's see. The blue moon unexpected. Okay. 
Okay. No matter how well you plan, there's always room for the unexpected to occur. So build your resilience as rare occurrences can happen. A visitor you have not seen in a long time may re-enter your life. I told you something you created during the blue moon may be coming back. Something that actually fulfilled your desire. Maybe it's something you thought about back then. You know, whatever was on your heart back then during that blue moon. Look it up so you can see when the last blue moon was. I think it was like October or something, but don't quote me on that because I'm not an astrologer. You know, I'm a tarot card reader with a little bit of novice information about astrology, the stars move. But I try to keep my head to the stars, most definitely reading these cards. So <laughs> whatever you was thinking about then is definitely coming back. So I know you're a Capricorn. You probably got all kinds of plans and aspirations and dreams and, and what you think things should look like. But the unexpected is at hand for you boo and it's destiny and it is calling out for you to see if that's something you truly desire or if that's something that they truly desire so you can either go with it go into the happiness or or not some of us love surprises but some of us don't but i don't think anyone can go through life without sometimes having the unexpected happen to them while some professions in particular, such as the military and medicine, they try to plan for everything that can go wrong, but sometimes <laughs> sometimes it just don't turn out the way we uh, want it to. Like, I, I just lost my 10-day-old grandson, and we went all the way full term, and at the last minute, you know, the wheel of fortune turned, and we didn't have no control over it. It was totally unexpected, and that's why I'm on a mountain right now, because I need to get grounded back to what truly um I desire, what truly I uh feel for, what truly I love, and that's what spirit is causing calling you to do. Get grounded to what you really uh want, what you really uh think, what you really want, and no matter what uh bad or good come about, just know that. It was never um, for your bad. It's always intended to grow us and nurture us and, and help us to become better people, you know. And um, it's just important for us to know where and how and why we're traveling. But, but we can't. Get out your head. And... and, and and kind of get back to a, a childlike um, spirit to where you don't know what the day might bring. You just get on your bike and start running. Or like the people that's walking the path, just get on the path and, and go because you don't know where it's going to lead. You don't know the beautiful things that you go see. So uh, Capricorn, I wish you all the luck. God is with you. God is with you. God is for you. And um, he even have angels and ancestors fighting for us along the way. We don't have to be uh, scared anymore at all. So live your life, have fun, and prepare for the unexpected. <laughs> Namaste.